I feel that at that time with that uh, psychologist, he was mainly interested in um, fitting me into these different molds that he already had. You know, as a Freudian psychologist, he had these certain molds you have to go into. It always reverts back to the childhood, the mother, a bad relationship. But uh, that was completely false. Which brings something to mind. Somebody, not you, told me a long time ago that you had actually read a book called The Murdering Mind to be familiar with some of the psychology of this kind of stuff so that you could give the right answers to shrinks? Yeah, that's true, yeah. It's true. Yeah. So are you saying you were just parroting back to them what you thought they wanted to hear? Yeah, yeah. But there was a whole reason for that too. It's, it's, it's such a long story. It was that McGraw-Hill thing with Mr. Klausner and all the stuff that resulted from that. I had felt really betrayed by uh, the attorneys and it's no big deal. At that time I was in a really depressed and frame of mind, just coming into prison and you know just facing everything. It was just so overwhelming and then when I found out that the attorneys that represented me had were working out a deal to write a book with this guy and eventually a book was published uh, by McGraw-Hill which did I think it didn't do well, it kind of bombed. But anyway at that time when I found out that was coming out, I, I contacted the, Mr. Abrahamson, Dr. Abrahamson, and, and kind of pretty much told him what he wanted to hear, you know, and, uh, and that was foolish. I mean, at the time, I was just handling everything the wrong way. And uh, at that time, I was, uh, you know, depressed and suicidal in prison, and, uh, you know, I just... At that time, were you still uh, involved in the occult? I used to practice at in the very beginning like rituals in my cell and everything it was stupid now, isn't it so that a substantial number of people whom you were associated with on the streets back in 76 and 77 are in the ground that's what i've heard i you know i don't know how accurate all that is i heard know that the car brothers and so forth and lost their lives shortly after i was arrested the police finally did apprehend you was a relief uh, yeah, I was going to be killed anyway. I was going to, someone was going to kill me. Someone from the, the group I was with was probably going to do me in eventually. Why? Uh, one thing I found out about the devil that when you serve him and he uses you, when he's done using you, he throws you away. You mean nothing to Satan. So you, you were not me. in this alone. There were others involved with yes, you. Yes, yes, that's right. They were never apprehended. Uh, some of them died shortly after I was arrested, and some of them, uh, were, I think, were arrested for other things, what I've heard, and some are still around somewhere, you know. In these rarely seen meetings, Berkowitz tells Terry that he was not the only shooter. Now, there were a series of eight attacks known yeah. as the son of Sam Killings. Yeah. Did you do all of them? Uh, I was at all of them. I was at, uh, more or less at all of them, scouting the areas and, and reporting back on likely targets and things, and uh, I did not pull the trigger at every single one of them. And uh, I believe the police do know that. Berkowitz agreed to go through each shooting, saying which ones he did and which ones he didn't, including Carl De Naros. Carl De Niro, Rosemary Keenan in Queens. That wasn't you. No. Were any of the 44 shootings done by females? Uh, yes. Would that have been one shooting or two? Uh, one I know of, possibly two. I know that uh, Carl's uh, was a definitely a, a woman. <laughs>